Hello, this is Red Hat Sucks and I'm trying to fix a PlayStation 3. So I bought this PlayStation for 20 quid off Facebook and it had the description as 40 power supply um, salvageable. So I thought, alright, I'll buy it. So I got it back and I stripped it down. There's plenty of videos on YouTube about stripping it down and to see what happens. And the issue that is this, so I'll just show you what the issue is. So if I turn the power on, power comes on and I get a red light. Yeah, press the button. Yeah. So it powers up, green light, the fan comes on, which means that the PSU is feeding the power supply. But now the power's gone dead and the red light's off. Yeah? Down here. So I've lost all power. So I can't press the power button anymore. To get the power button back, I have to power off at the switch or pull the plug out. So I power off, turn it off for a bit, and then power back on. Red light comes back. So that to me is telling me something that the power supply has maybe got like a resettable fuse in it or something like that, something like that's happening. I'm not an electronics engineer, but the red light is back on. So, and then looking at the power supply, what I've got up here is 12 volt terminals. So I've got my multimeter here. And I'm going to set it to DC. Yeah, so in here, put this in the screen, on the screen, set it to DC, and I'm going to put the terminals in here. And in. Oh, make sure that goes in the ground. The red in there. So, one thing you've got to be careful of is obviously this power supply. Is live so these terminals here at the moment have got 240 running through them so you do need to be careful it's probably not advisable if you don't know what you're doing but I like a bit of danger right so the power's on the red light is on down here I've got zero volts coming out of the 12 volt um, these terminals here because I've got a red light on at the moment I know that that is ignore the black wires going in there at the moment but there's five volts, there's a ground and five volts um, from there. <clears throat> so when I power the button up, looking at the screen on the meter, I press the power button down here, press the power button, and then watch the screen, power button comes on, I get 12 volts. The fan's running, the fan is running, but the 12 volts is gonna drop. Should drop. Seems to be working. This video with the intention of showing a fault and then showing what the problem was and how I was rectifying that fault. So the problem was was that the PlayStation was coming on with a red light, pressing the button, getting the green light, and the green light going dead after about five seconds. During that period, you could see the fan come on, and if you press the power button, then the, the disc started spinning up. And that to me means signal that probably the PlayStation is okay, there's something wrong with the power feed into the PlayStation. So what I was going to demonstrate was that I from this five volt feed here, that five volt feed was dropping off. And I think that was, I think the five, I thought, well, the five volt feed is, is, is dropping off and therefore shutting down the power supply and the 12 volts and, and overall shutting down the PlayStation. So what I did to fix that problem was I had a mobile phone charger, which delivers five volts. 
snip the end off the terminals and put the ground and the five volts into the ground and five volts of the terminals here. I powered up the phone charger first, powered up the PlayStation, pressed the green button, and the PlayStation was running lovely. So in the earlier part of this video, that's what I was going to demonstrate, and I went and demonstra demonstrate we have thought without the power supply, powered up. But in that in that the start of this video, to demonstrate the 12 volts, I took these two turn these and I placed them in there. And in doing so, my PlayStation seems to have fixed itself. So I now press the green button. I've taken my terminals away and I have done something else. And my PlayStation seems to be fine. So it's running fine so it doesn't shut down. It's running fine. So what I think I have discovered is that when I placed these two in and pushed them in, in doing that, what I've actually done is squeeze the two terminals, or squeeze the two pincers around the two forks that come into the play, into the power supply from the PlayStation. And I think what's happened is it's just made better contact of delivering that 12 volts into the PlayStation. So what I think is happen, may have happened, is my theory, is obviously the PlayStation PC part of it is actually PC. The PlayStation is actually the, is the load of the power supply, and I think the power supply was shutting down because it wasn't seeing them, them terminals possibly weren't connected or making good contact, and therefore the power supply was saying there's no load. I'm going to shut down. So because the power supply wasn't seeing a full load, it was shutting down. So since the start of this video and moving on and me trying to investigate what actually happened i've actually put my screwdriver into this where the pincers are and and closed them a bit further to make sure that when that power supply goes on it really makes good contact with these the two pins that come up so now i've just been in between this i've been turning it on turning it off i've taken the power supply out put it back in it's a lot harder to push back in now, closer than two pins, but the PlayStation seems fine. So I'm actually quite chuffed. Um, but sure, if, if you have got a PlayStation where the green light, where it's red light and then it's going a green light and then coming off, turning off after five seconds, I'll be pretty sure it's this five volt delivery. And the way you can test it, obviously being careful that that's 240 volts there, is to take a five volt supply, put it in there, Turn the 5 volt supply on, then turn your PlayStation on, and you should be able to run your PlayStation. If that works, then that's because the 5 volt supply that keeps the, I suppose, the, the safety check and the self check or whatever of the PlayStation is shutting down because the power supply is not seeing the correct load there and therefore I think the power supply is shutting it down. So um, if anyone's got any comments please leave them in the comments box because um, I'll be really interested. If I do have some more issues and this, I'm going to put this PlayStation back together and if it stops working again then I'll make another video about the PlayStation. Um, that's it for now. See you later. I've connected it into the telly. Power's on. It's got a red light. Let's see if that fix of just putting the computer, putting the these two terminals, me just putting the screwdriver in and moving or tightening the terminals a little bit. Um, these two terminals here. I can get and then. In terminals there. So let's just turn it on and see if we get a screen and see if we can play a game or something. Right, so press power button. Are we going to get it? Oh, something's happening. Ah, cool. We're all good. So 
it looks like I've got a PS3 that works and it didn't and I just need to have fixed it. So put to there. It's good, let's just hold down this small button here, which is the micro switch as if we're closing the lid. Start it up. Far cry. Gosh, we're in there again. Look at that. Let's take, take it out. That looks good. Put PlayStation back together. And that's the end of the video. Anyone got any comments? Leave them in the comments box. Cheers. Bye.